Hello friends, Namaste. So now we are going to discuss the second problem on isometric projection of combination of solids. So here in this problem, they are telling that so there is a frustum of a square pyramid of sides. Uh, base side is 40 mm, top side is 20 mm, and height is 60 mm. See, this is the frustum of a pyramid. This frustum of a pyramid is rest on center of top of a square block of side is how much 60 mm and height is 20 mm so we have a, a square block so which is having a sides of 60 mm and the height is how much 20 mm see the this combination how it is being placed the base edges of the pyramid are parallel to the top edges of the square block right and this is placed centrally right see this is a frustum of square pyramid square pyramid the base edges of a square pyramid is parallel to the top face edges see this is a base head and this one is parallel to this one so this is how it is placed so we need to write the isometric projection of this combination of solid shall we draw okay so for that what we have to do first we have to draw the corresponding top view and corresponding front view so this has been written over here see we can see the how many squares from the top we can see the three squares that is a 60 mm 40 and also the 20 so first we are we are going to write the square block or a square prism right so this has been written over here then what we have to do we need to locate the center see o has been located so this is the center next so from this center we need to draw another square that measures how much 40 that is a base of a uh, frustum of a square pyramid see what we have to do from the o how much we are going to measure see from o from here it will be how much 20 so that's why i saw 20 from o i have taken how much 21 2 then here 1 2 1 2 1 2 i saw 20 afterwards with the help of scale i am going to draw a lines like this okay so this is how I am going to construct another square over here. Like this I am going to construct. See what is the naming I am going to give. The reference name is being given over here right. 5, 6, 7, 8. I am going to name this as what? 5 and this one is 6 7 8 okay so afterwards what we have to do there is a another square so what is the height it is 60 okay from here i am going to measure top of 60 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is the center of the top of this frustum of a square pyramid. this small square is there right so this is the center from here what is the square so it measures how much 20 so i need to construct a square of how much 20 i saw 20 right so what we have to do is i saw 20 see from the center see from the center to here how much it measures it measures 10 here from here to here it measures 10 so therefore from here I am going to measure 10 in this direction, in this direction, here and also here. So this is how we are going to construct a ISO 20 over here. Okay, now we got the another square which measures ISO 20. Have you got this my friends? Next, you have to draw the corresponding slanted edges, right? 
so this one is i can name it as 9 and this one is 10 11 and 12 okay so we have slanted this from see 5 to 9 10 to 6 11 to 7 12 to 8 so therefore i am going to join all those things So this one I joined, 9 to 5 I joined, next 10 to 6 and from here it is 11 right, so it is 11 to 3, so I already joined the square, okay, so what is the next step? What is the next step? So now it is the time to draw the visible and invisible edges, right? See the top face, as I told, always we should go from top to bottom to draw the visible edges and visible edges. See the top is visible. Okay. See, you have to make it dark. So for making you to understand I am writing with the help of sketch pen but you have to draw with the help of which one pencil only see these slant edges are visible and from here to here slant edges is visible and this bottom face is visible right so this is what the visible things so what about the square block square prism see from here to here it is visible right so this face is visible and this one is visible this one is visible so next one so these edges are visible and this bottom face edges are visible right so these are the visible edges okay so this is how we are going to draw the isometric position of given combination of solid i hope you understood thank you namaste